You know the vibes, man. It's DB215. I'm back with another one to let you know where I'm coming from. Before Cassie went on the Smear Diddy campaign, Gene Dill was the one that was trying to put the murder of Biggie Smalls, still is, on P. Diddy. Yeah, he was Diddy's security. He's pinning the murder on him because he didn't jump in the same truck and he invited him down to L.A. in the heart of the beef. Cassie was going broke because she hasn't had a hit since 2008. So she reached back in her past to Pete Diddy, who was fucking with her for six years, probably fucked her about nine times in the six years. And she just wanted a bag. We all know that. I mean, any torture she was dealing with, she chose to deal with it. It's a choice. She could have left, but she wanted to stay because he got money. You see what I'm saying? These bitches will stay around a nigga that got money, but will get tortured at the same time. But they gonna keep saying, he got money. I don't care. He got money. He gay, but he got money. He beat me, but he got money. Everything goes back to he got money. If he was broke, she would not bring that to the forefront that he was torturing her. She would have just said, oh, well, shit. Just got tortured by a broke nigga. She would have just left it at that. We all know that. Cassie got about six spins on the radio back in the day. Six spins. I saw a video about six times, and that was the six times that it played and it was finalized. It ain't come on after that. She's trash. That's what I'm saying. I don't think your prettiness can get you through life. You still got to know how to do stuff. You still got to hit the pavement. You still got to put that work in. You can't be lazy and pretty. That shit gets you nowhere. Where is that going to get you? She's the perfect example of a lazy, pretty girl. Yeah. Nobody calling her for walkthroughs, features, shows. She's done. Cold as ice. She's broke. Bitch was about two seconds of filling out an application to go work at Macy's or something. Finished. You know what I'm saying? Like, this shit, this shit's spooky out here, yo. If you got a bag... I can't say, I can't even say be careful. Man, I'm going to just say, if you got a bag and you fucking with these girls, man, I know they say it's cheaper to keep her. And I think it, I think that, that, that might be a, a realistic terminology. It just might be like, yeah, they're annoying. Yeah, they, yeah, they're expensive, but damn. If they know you got a bag, trust me, they coming for that, John. And they coming with a vengeance. They going to get either all of it or, or a nice portion of it. Because they know how to work the system in their own favor. That's how, that's how some women could be, man. They know how to stack the odds against you. And everybody look at you like you a fucking monster. And they'll look at her. And, and hold her in high regard like a queen. She could be lying, but she's a queen. You're a monster. She's a queen. You know what I'm saying? They see the difference? You know the vibes, throw up the sign of Shadow Rob. You understand me? That's why I make these videos because Cassie, bitch can't stand me. You feel me? Why would I come on this platform like this and not give you the real me? When a bitch Cassie, that washed up singer, is filthy. Tell me how this hurt me. Die, bitch. Take too long. Bow!